So Pat, what sorts I heard from the girls on what they think of you? How would you describe yourself? I'm a no-nonsense person. No-nonsense. I get straight to the point. Talk to us a little bit about your childhood. Where were you raised and how? Um, I'm from Spanish Town. Mm -hmm. um, I was raised by both my mother and father. Different households, so you know, back and forth right. between both of them. Um, and then uh, when I reached high school, um, I started moving around from one family to the other family to the other family. Stayed with some friends at one point in really? time. Yeah. My childhood was a very rough one, um, very, very rough. Um, and I guess that's what the, um, lead or the, you know, the kids who I am now, um, who I am today. Um, I went to Tarrant Primary, then Murgrove, then went on to you know UCC after. I'm a certified accountant. Right. I think you mentioned um, that yes. earlier. Then I got into the bar service business. Right. What about siblings? Do you have any siblings? I have three brothers. How many siblings did you say you had? Three. Three, Three siblings. Brothers. But you only have one daughter? Yes. Alright, let's talk a little bit about her. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> first time. That's the apple of my eye. <laughs> Clearly she's <laughs> blushing. They're nothing alike. That's how, that's how I know that. Yeah. Complete her, opposite. She raised a good girl, I can say that. I mean, we all know that she went through a lot growing up, so. What I really admire about her is that she really ensured that her daughter had the best, you know? The relationship I have with my daughter, now I wish I had that relationship with my mother. Motherhood for me is a learning experience and also give me the opportunity of reliving the, chi you know, the, ch the childhood that I wanted to live as a child. So the, the relationship that we have, um, we're very tight. Um, some people call her my twin. Um, we're very, 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 very. Do they actually look alike? No, we don't. And they don't act alike either. And she's very proper and quiet. Very prim, very, very prim. And she'd be like, Mom, you're embarrassing me. You know, yes. So they're honestly, they're like sisters. What I've seen, they're like sisters. Well, if they were in the same clothes, then they're certainly more like sisters than anything else. And just me, I take it as a compliment. And what about your husband to be? <laughs> Tell us the story of how you guys met. Oh, wow. Donovan, Donovan. <laughs> we, by the way, we're all team done. So we have an answer. Hello, can I, can, can I speak? Sorry. Can sorry. I speak? Go ahead, go like, ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We're all team done. <laughs> like, Don can do nothing wrong where they are concerned. Um, Don and I, we knew of each other um, before because we we're in the same industry. Mm -hmm. But we first exchanged conversation um, at NAM International Airport when I needed his help with a business issue. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, we can just say the rest is history from there. What's the one thing about yourself that people would never guess? One thing that people don't know about me, um, and I, they will never guess it because um, I always shut down that topic or pretend that it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter to me, is to this very day, I wish I had a relationship with my mother. Um, hopefully we will do so sometime before either of us passes away, but that's something that I wish. What advice would you give to the younger you, if you could give the younger you some advice? <sighs> that's a tough one. I got married at a pretty young age. I got married when I was 19 years of age. Mm -hmm. And if I could go back in the past to my younger self, mm -hmm. I'd tell my younger self to wait. To wait. Yeah. You can respect that. I think we all can respect that as yeah. women. Yeah. You know, I think you need to kind of, I think you need to explore know yourself your more and explore your youth for first before you, you know you're with somebody else. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, absolutely. And I have to spend a bag of money for don't But on a lighter note, where is the Food. Food! Thank you! <laughs> Opa! Opa! <laughs>
And we give you thanks and praises for Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Well, Patrice, I just wanted to tell you thank you for having us today. Um, one of your chill spots was a little exhausting, <laughs> but that's okay. I can appreciate your lifestyle. And of course, Opa is absolutely fabulous. So thank you for having us. You're welcome, Candy. All right. I can't complain about the day that I've had with Patrice. We started out with a workout at Spartan and we've ended the night here at Opa where we've had fabulous food and drinks. Until next time, I'm Candy for Chill Spot. Bye. Patrice did this at 10, but I'm clearly much, much stronger. So I'm moving this down to 40. You're capturing that? So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All this bachelorette talk has me a little thirsty, so I forgot the name of my drink. What name? <laughs> Blue Cosmo. Okay. So what? What? The, the, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what kind of restaurant is it, though? It's a Greek restaurant. So what is Greek food exactly? Oh yeah, I know it. Oh, should I get technical now? <laughs> 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 Jesus! Oh, I just wanna. What is it?